Hi there, this is Ms. Townsend. I'm going to show you how to work some of the problems from the web assigned homework for section 7.1. This is the Larson and Edwards calculus textbook, early transcendental function, seventh edition. Um, and it's the corresponding web assigned homework. Um, they're asking you to do some graphing. And I wanna show you how to use web assigns graphing tool to graph regions. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay, so first we're asked to consider the following functions. We've got a parabola, y equals negative x squared plus 3x plus 5, and we have a line, y equals negative x plus 5, and we're asked to sketch the region bounded by the graphs of the equations and use solid lines for the boundaries. Okay. Now first, I'm going to do some work on my scratch paper. I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll show you how to um, graph using WebAssign. So I'll stop sharing just for a moment. And then go to my document camera. Here we go. Okay, so I'll, I think I'll graph the line first. And you can graph this line however you like. You can just pick an X value and find the corresponding Y value. Um, can make a, I think they call it a t-table, heard that said a lot in Oklahoma, um, just a table of x-y pairs. And um, when x is zero, notice that y is five. On the equation of the line, and notice that when x is five, y is negative five plus five, so y would be zero. So, we have a line on our graph. It's going to look like this. It just passes through those two points. So that's one part of it. And then we also want to graph this parabola. Now I know it's a parabola because this is a quadratic function. The number in front of the x squared is negative, so it's a parabola facing down. I know it's gonna have that basic shape. It's gonna look kind of like this. But the question is, like, what exactly does it look like? To figure out exactly what it looks like, I'd like to plot at least two points on my parabola. Usually we plot the vertex and then maybe some other point. Um, I think x equals zero is an easy, um, value to evaluate a function at. So we'll just plug in x equals zero here. We'll have negative zero squared plus three times zero. Of course, those are zero. Zero plus five is five. So one point on this parabola is x equals zero, y equals five. Now to find the vertex, and it's probably been a little while um, since algebra class, but if you have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, and of course a is non-zero, so that we're actually looking at um, a parabola when we graph it, or a quadratic function. The x value where that vertex occurs is at x equals negative b over 2a. And hopefully you proved that when you were in your pre-calculus or college algebra class. So we're just going to substitute in our b and our a. b is 3. a is the number in front of the x squared. a is negative 1. So we have negative 3 over negative 2, which is 3 over 2, or if you prefer, 1.5. And then to find the y value that goes with x equals 3 over 2, you just substitute that into this quadratic function. So you square the numerator and square the denominator there, you're going to get 9 over 4. Think of that as a 3 over 1. Multiply straight across, you get 9 over 2 there. And then we have 5 over 1 here. To get a common denominator here, I want this den denominator be a, to be a 4, just like that one's a 4. So I'll multiply this one by 2 over 2, so that the resulting denominator is 4. And I'll multiply this number by 4 over 4, so that the resulting denominator is 4. So I've got negative 9 over 4 plus 18 over 4. 
that's 9 over 4, plus 20 over 4, which is 29 over 4. Or if you prefer 7.25, if you want to use decimals, you can. So when x equals 1.5, y equals 7.25 on this parabola, and that's going to be that highest point. So when x equals 1.5, y equals 7.25. There's 7, there's a little bit more than that. It's going to look like this. Now I actually don't know where this cross is over here when, um, excuse me, I don't really know where this parabola crosses this line later, so I guess we could set these two functions equal to each other and find out where this parabola crosses. But I know that the parabola has to go down like this from here. So to figure out where the parabola and the line cross each other, we could set the y's equal to each other and solve for x. So we'll have negative x squared plus 3x plus 5 is equal to negative x plus 5. And then we can subtract the 5 from both sides. So those guys are gone. And then we can add the x to both sides to make one side equal 0. So now I've got negative x squared plus 4x equals 0. Maybe factor out a negative x. Negative x times positive x is negative x squared. And negative x times negative 4 um, is going to give me that positive 4x there. So I've got this times this equals 0, which means the first factor equals 0, or the second factor equals 0. And if x minus 4 equals 0, that means x equals 4. So the parabola is going to cross this line at x equals 4. And so we're going to see that. This is what we're looking for. And this point at the top was, again, x equals 1.5, y equals 7.25. And if you want to, you can say when x equals 4, what is y equal? y is negative 4 plus 5, or 1. And you should check if you want to. If you plug in x equals 4 here, you should also get 1. Negative 4 squared, that's negative 16. Negative 16 plus 12, but that's negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. So Yes, that, that point satisfies the equation of the parabola, and it also satisfies the equation of the line. So that is the region. That's what they asked us to sketch. Now we're going to use WebAssign to do it. So let me screen share with you again. So now I'm here, and I think I'll graph the line first. So do that, and then we'll just plot a point, and then we'll plot another point. And I've got the point 0, 5, and 5, 0, both of those on my line. That's exactly what I want. OK. And then I want to plot my parabola. I want the parabola that faces up. So I want 0, 5 to be on my parabola. And I would like um, x equals 4, y equals 1 to be on my parabola. OK. 0, 5, and 4, 1. Good. Oh, wait, no. It's treating that first point as my vertex. So let's delete that last one. Yes, delete that. OK, so let's enter this point, and then x equals 1.5, y equals 7.25. Well, let me do that. No, OK. So it accidentally picked the wrong point. That's OK. We'll just come over here to the side, and then we'll just enter it. I want the second point on the parabola to be x equals 1.5. 
and y equals 7.25. And I don't know why, I guess it's just assuming that the first point is the vertex. So we're gonna to have to put the vertex in first. It's not at all clear. They're not telling you that you're supposed to enter the vertex first. And then the second point was x equals zero, y equals five. Yeah, there, that's what we want. Okay. I don't want dashed, I want solid. And now we want to sketch the region bounded by those equations. So we want to fill in that space right there. It says add fills last. Fills will be removed if you select a new tool. Okay. And then we just want to fill here. And then it asks us to find the area of the region. Now let's switch to our paper momentarily. So we want the top function minus the bottom function. And we start at x equals zero and we end at x equals four. So we're integrating from zero to four. The top function is the parabola. The bottom function is negative x plus five. Make sure you include some parentheses there because that negative distributes to both terms. And this is what you get. So we've got negative x squared plus 3x plus 5. Distribute the negative. A negative times a negative is a positive x. A negative times a positive 5 is a negative 5. The 5s reduce. And now you just have the integral of negative x squared plus 3x plus x, which is 4x, with respect to x. Now. I've got, I'm using scratch paper. That's why I'm trying to cover up all this other stuff. Um, we're going to add one to the exponent here and divide by the new exponent. Bring that constant down and then do that. Then bring that four down. It's a constant. Add one to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. Plug in zero and four and subtract. So we're going to get four cubed, negative four cubed over three plus um, four times four squared is going to be another four cubed over two. And then you evaluate that at zero and you get zero, of course. So we end up with four cubed over two, 64 over two, minus 64 over three, and it gives us 32 over, over three. Okay, sounds good to me. Let's go back to our screen and see if WebAssign likes these answers. The answer is 32 divided by three. Submit answer. Did it like it? It sure did. Okay, so that is what is listed in WebAssign now as problem 7.1.018. Defective, but it doesn't look like it's defective. It's possible it used to be defective and now it works um, because we were able to graph the parabola and graph the line and fill in the region. And then we were able to find the area between the two curves. I think the graphing is the hardest part. What I would suggest you do is when you're plotting points on that line, um, maybe trying the x um, intercept and the y intercept is a good idea. Usually any two points would work, but um, graphers are finicky. So um, that's what I did. I used the x and y intercepts here for the line. Um, but we have seen how finicky uh, WebAssign is about graphing that parabola. So they, they didn't tell us this. I wish they had told us this. Um, but the first point that you plot can't be just any point on that parabola, it has to be the vertex. So let's go back to my piece of paper just for a moment. To find that vertex, if you've got a parabola, use this formula, x equals negative b over 2a, that's gonna get you the x value. But you don't want just the x value, you want the x, y pair. So when x equals 1.5, find out what y is equal to. Plot that point and then plot some other point on the parabola. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back to the screen share. So enter the vertex first or plot the vertex first. And if WebAssign won't allow you to, uh, it'll allow you to plot a couple of points. It's gonna plot the wrong parabola at first. Then just go over here to the right-hand side, use this drop-down menu and just type in the coordinates of the points, vertex first and then some other point on the parabola. And then once those are graphed, then you go over to this fill button you look for that region that is bounded by both the parabola and the line. And that's the region right there that's in between the parabola and the line. You fill that in. And then that's the end of the graphing part. I hope that helps you. Um, again, I did not say it at the very beginning, but this is problem 7.1.018.defective, according to WebAssign, from the uh, Larson and Edwards calculus early transcendental functions text seventh edition um, I don't know if it just used to be defective and it's not defective anymore but it worked for me this time um, and hopefully this this outline of a method uh, works for you too please let me know if you have questions <laughs>